Good morning, good morning. Can you hear me, Danny? I can, I can hear you. Okay. So my screen looks different, I don't know why. Anyways. Guys, I'm checking out for a second because I can't, I can't see my screen up. Oh, one second, go on. There's my video. Yeah, yeah, got it, got it, got it, got it. Okay, it's good. All right. All right, here we go, guys. With the help of Hashem, we are learning Eruvin Daf Nuntes. We began in the Mishnah yesterday, learning the leniency that Afilo Eved, Afilo Shifcha, are nemanim to say that at Khan Tchum Shabbos, we're going to begin today share actually learning a little bit of a Gemara, but the Ikara Toysvis and Daphnum Tess Amadalev that speaks about a Gavaldika principle, which is called the principle of Biyodoi or Biyodo. And that means that when one has within their own ability to determine whether something will come out okay or not, like when someone shechts an animal, when someone separates through Mosomaisers, when someone is the one separating the Chala. Bechlal, since it's an activity that one had the power to do or not, there is generally more nemanus. There are other um, facts, like when we're speaking about until where was the Tchum Shabbos, this is something that's not biyada or biyada, and that's generally an area in which people have less nemanus, happens to be, like we mentioned, that since the whole dinam of Tchum and our only Midr therefore we're very lenient, and yes, even an evident, even a Shivcha, are believed to say that until where was the Tchum Shabbos. We're going to learn on Daf Nuntes, the Mishnah. We actually mentioned the Mishnah a few Daf ago, even though we're learning the, the, the rules of Eruv Tchumen. For this Sugiyah, we're going to go to the dinam of Eruv Chatserus and Shituf Movois. Now, when you have a large area, as we began learning in this Masechta, there are two things that have to happen, two separate dinam. Number one is, for one to be allowed to carry in that area, and it has to be halachically enclosed. Number two, even when it's halachically enclosed, if the owners are not the same, one area belongs to me, one area belongs to you, one area perhaps is joined, then Medrabanan, that was the Takon of Shlema HaMelech, you have to make, and we are using until now the general term of an Eruv Chatzedis. Actually, whenever we're speaking about houses sharing a common yard, that's exactly the term that we used, an Eid of Chatzedus. Whenever you have various Chatzedus using a Mavui, they also have to make the same sort of merging of partnership, what we call that a Shituv Muva'ais. We're going to learn a lot of more, uh, many, many more details about this later in the Masechta, beginning with next Vedic. But we're going to use now the words of a Shituv. Theoretically, if an entire city is halachically enclosed, then you can make one sheet of Mova'is and have everyone in the city carry to anywhere else in the city. However, the Chachamim were afraid that if indeed you're going to have one sheet of that will include everyone that lives in a large city, people that live there, especially the children, are going to forget about the whole Isra of Hitzah. So, Chazal said, make a shituf, 
but you have to exclude one part of that city from the shituf. Now, that part of the city can make a shituf between themselves, but there's going to be a restriction between, you can't just stomp carry everywhere in the city. This rule was only said on an ir shalrabim, in a public town. Rashi understands a public town is a town that has in it a road that is servicing 600,000 people or more. Now, parenthetically, I know we mentioned these dinim earlier in the Masechta. If there is a bona fide Rishusarabim road, that means it's wide, 16 Amis, and it's taka servicing 600,000 people or more, then forget about the Mishnah about being allowed to make a shituf to include anyone, not to make a shituf to include anyone. Then there's always going to be another issue. And that other issue is, is that you cannot, as a Pashut, enclose a Rishusarabim. You know, when we spoke this out so many times, that every city now that makes a citywide aid of, the first thing they have to do is, is that they have to explain, and they have to sometimes do things that will already lower the halachic status that the city cannot be a Rishul Sarabim, it has to become a Karmelis. Then is where, for example, using a Tzuras HaPesach, right, with, you know, with the classical city aid of, then you will render it into a Rishul Sayyachar as far as enclosing it is concerned. So we're going to speak out all these details when we learn the sugya. In other words, first of all, it has to be enclosed. For that, you can't have a city that's 16 amas wide, for example. But if it's taken not 16 amas wide, and therefore the enclosure works as far as enclosing it is concerned, now when it comes to making the shitu, allowing everyone to carry from everywhere to everywhere, here is where we say, if it's an ear that has in it 600,000 people, or that it's servicing 600,000 people, meaning that big marketplaces, so people congregate there, then that is the din where Chazal said, you cannot include everyone in the shituf. If it's an ir shal yachid, a private town doesn't mean it belongs to one person. Larashi. If the city to begin with never has 600,000 people, it never services 600,000 people, here Chazal never made that takon. And here is a city that when first you enclose it, and number two, if you want, you can make a shitu that includes mamish everyone, and then everyone can carry from everywhere to everywhere on Shabbos. This is going to be the, 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 the theme that of, the, of the sugya that we'll learn in Daphne Montes. There's going to be many amazing details. Uh, we're going to be mentioning also a din that we're going to have a mission on Daf I and Hey, when you have two chatzeres, one within the other. The inner chatzer, the people that live in the inner chatzer can only make it out to the Rosh Sarabim by going through the outer chatzer. Each chatzer made an Eruv for themselves, their own Eruv chatzeres, but they didn't join all together. So there's a machlekes tanoim, whether we say that since the people that live in the inner chatzer, they must go through the outer chatzer, they are permitted to walk through the outer chatzer, and they didn't join with them in the Eruv, so is that as if there was someone in the Chatzah, one member in the Chatzah that doesn't join the Eruv, messes it up for everyone. So do we say that because they didn't join, the outer Chatzah is an area that people cannot carry in, or, which is the sheet of, of Rabbi Kiva, and the words of Rabbi Kiva is that the regal hamuteres b'mekoyma oiseres afilu shaloi b'mekoyma, or the Chachamim hold, no, that since, you know, there are separate Chatzahs, each one is allowed to carry in their own chatzad when they made an of amongst themselves, even though they were not ma'ariv, one with the other, and we're going to see how this will relate to our sugya, and one other very important topic, and that will be when you have two different locations. Like we mentioned, if everyone shares the same chatzad, everyone has to participate in the of chatzadis. But when you have two separate chatzadis, but there is an access point that allows one group to go to the other, then there's always the option. If they want, they can join all together. If they want, they don't have to join together and they don't ruin it to each other. What happens if there's two chatzedes and a wall in between them, but there are ladders on both sides of the wall facilitating people from one yard to go into the other yard? Does that um, ladder make it as if there isn't even a mechitza? If that would be the case, then they're mechui of all to make an eight of chatzedes together. And if they don't, then they can't carry there. Or do we say that it Bakhlal doesn't connect them, that they don't even have an option to make an eight of Chatzedus together? Or do we say that we can always view it leniently? Ladders can be viewed leniently. We're going to speak a lot more details as we go through the sugya. 
We left off on Daf Nun Tesamadal of seven lines from the top of the Amit. Okay, my friends, we are referring back to the last din that we had in the Mishnah on Daf Nun Chesamad Beis, the second part of the Mishnah. And that is that Afilo Ever, Afilo Shifcha, are Nemanim Loimer Atkan Tchum Shabbos. And the Mishnah explained itself why do we believe them? Normally they don't have Nemanus. So Shaloi Omru Chacham Mesadar Lahachmen El Lahakim. As we explained, because the whole din of Eruv is a din that Abanan, right? Again, we're speaking here about the 2000 Eruv Tchum, and therefore we can be lenient. Connecting Gemara, this expression that Shalayamru Chacham Mesadar Lahachman El Lahakim, Bechlal regarding an Eruv Tchum, the Hatanya Loi Omru Chacham Mesadar Lahakim El Lahachmir, if I care, the whole din of an Eruv Tchum, Particularly that you cannot walk beyond two thousand amas. All of that is a chumra. Midoraisa, you could. Midoraisa, you could. It's only a din derabban and it's a chumra. So Amar Avina correct that loy lahakel al divrei toira el lahachmen al divrei toira. The fact that you need an eight of tchumen, the fact that without an eight of tchumen you can't go to two thousand amas. That's a chumra. Doesn't matter. Nevertheless, since the need of tchumen. And the limit of Tchumen is Midrabanan. That's why when it comes, for example, how do you know until where was the Tchum? If there's no more marker, you can even rely on an Eved and on a Shif. Okay, Chavra, let's learn Abyssal, the third Toysvis, down from the top. Right? It's a little bit under the Gemara. The third Toysvis in the Amit. Baruch HaTo Adino, Yelena, Malachim, Shabbat, this is a very important that you say this like a Tosis. Tchum and the Rabban says Tosis Mashma that I have the Oiraisa that indeed loy mehem. Ask Tosis why, why? The Afal Gab the Maisa Bechol Yoyim. We mentioned this Bekitzer yesterday. When it comes not to dinim ominous, not to other dinim that you have to have too, but there are many uh, dinim, dinim of Isurim, and we're speaking about an Isur whether you could walk, whether you can't walk. Where one person is believed, and one person can even be Shemaminim Lunashim. This is his example. The Shita, the Nikur, the Litrim Chalo. That's a Dindoy Raisa. A woman says she took off Chalo. I know that nowadays Chalo is Midrabanan, but even when Chalo is Doy Raisa. So here is the Klaal Tois, which says, Hainu Mishum. Whenever you are testifying regarding something that you yourself are able to make it right, like separating chalas, separating trumas, shchita, nikur, bishum dahava biyada koydem shenasas ashchita, hava biyada lishchait, that is where the klal is, even by the oiraisas, not always, but eidechad namen v'yisurim, we give them anus. Since loy have a klal biyada, that is why, if not for the fact that chumen is midrabanan, there would not be nemanus. And Tosfos gives a great example that was that we can believe a cotton regarding the dikas chametz more than believing a cotton regarding a chum. And now we're not speaking when a cotton becomes an adult. That's another thing. When he says, "I remember as a child," but when a cotton is a cotton. Then there is no nemanus by tchumen, and by and the question is the same. But bedikas chametz, we believe are cotton when it comes to bedikas chametz. Yes, because bedikas chametz, the cotton saying he checked it, he can take a check it. Anything that's not biyada is an area in halacha, and where to begin with, it, you need to have more halachic credibility for you to be believed, because it's not in your power to do it. This is a gavalik atoisus. Okay. Like we mentioned in the intro, we spoke out this whole concept. But you guys remember this, this is you remember this, you got the whole thing good. There are two dinin, not to confuse. There is the enclosure of an area without that you can't carry, whether it's a Rishul Sarabim, Midway Raisa, even if it's a Carmelis Midrabanan. And you have to enclose the area. Even after you enclose the area, any area that belongs to different ownerships, my house, common area, your house, my chatzer, your chatzer, my mother, your mother. We all have to become partners. We have to merge. And therefore, theoretically, if the whole city was properly enclosed, then the whole city can make one shituf, and everyone can carry from anywhere to anywhere. But Chachamim made another takon. That any city that's similar to Eresh 
according to Rashi, Eid Shalad Abba means it's servicing 600,000 people. And again, if there is a road that's 16 amas wide and it's like a servicing 600,000 people, forget about the whole Mishnah. But how you can't carry there because you can't enclose it. We cannot enclose a bona fide Rosh Hashanah. So the mashal will be, it's a city that has 600,000 people in it, but there is no road 16 amas wide, the Valdek. Is everything is like animals, and therefore the walls around it hake, enclose it halachically. On top of that, you have to make a shituf. Chachamim said, Oh, if it's a irish or rabim, you can make a shituf, but not everyone together. There is going to be an area that has to be excluded from the shituf. And, and in this guy, there are two details that area can make a shituf amongst themselves. We're not going to focus on that. And number two, according to most of the Shainim, but then they're going to have to make some sort of heked that separates these two areas. Remember these dinim, that if you have one area that cannot carry into another area and it's fully open to it, right? That itself is a problem. So all these dinim have to be incorporated if you were hazard to dinim that we learned about before. So you would... Rabbi. You know, you would us a Pesach between these two areas, yeah. So how do we, how do we make an Arif today in, in large metropolitan <laughs> cities? Tzvika's <laughs> asking one second. My, all city Eruvim, it was speaking about large cities now that they are certainly forget about how they make it into a Karmos, but it's uh, six hundred thousand people. So just one of the approaches, okay? And this is a big topic. This affects uh, our city here also. The the Aruch Hashulchan writes that when this this takana was only made. If the enclosure is a wall, walls normally don't collapse. That means that every single week the Adolf will be up by default. So if we're not going to exclude an area by saying that they cannot carry from one area to the other, you have to make at least two shoot, one area shit of another area shit of, then you're going to forget the kids won't even know that you can't carry. But he argues whenever a city makes an aid of using a Tzuras HaPesach string, which is what we use, since this is something that continuously has to be checked. And you have to, we I'll take it in here in LA, you have to find out every out of Shabbos whether the Adolf is up or not. And Taka every now and then the Adolf drops. That is enough to remind everyone that without the Adolf being checked, you can't carry. That's a Gavaldi Kisvar. The big city of Ruben rely on this Aruch HaShulchan. You didn't know that. And there's a lot more to talk about, but it's Pashat Chaval, it's, it's getting late. But we spoke at the whole daf now. And Ir Shal Yachid, since Rashi, since it doesn't have 600,000 people, it's so dissimilar to a Rishos Abim that we're not afraid that people are going to think, oh, since you can carry in this city, you can carry in a Rishos Abim. It's not even Shaykh to Rishos Abim, and therefore you have to make a shitu. You have to enclose it because Midrabon and it's a carnivalist. You have to make a shitu, but when you make a shitu, you can include the whole city. Based on, these, on this premise, based on this intro, now the Mishnah, it begins with the detail. Like all this, you have to know about Peh. Now the detail will be what happens if you had a city that it was Shal Yachid. People remember this to be a city that no, it doesn't have 600,000 people. And slowly, the city grew. Now it has more than 600,000 people. So do we say that since the emesis, the halachic status of the city changes, now it's called Ir Shal Rabin, so do you have to now say no longer everyone using the same shituf? Or do you say, no, no one, that there, there is a certain amount of tolerance. People remember this to be Eir Shal Yachid. So in people's minds, it's still dissimilar to what a Shosan Abed. So you can still use the same shituf. It doesn't have 600,000 people, even though now it became Shal Rabim. Nevertheless, we still allow for us to continue. Me'arvin eskula, you can still make one Eidov. Why can you make one Eidov? So says Rashi, I'm reading inside. Kebatchila, ve'ein mevo'ise otzerichum tikon, shoharei hi kechatzer achas. And again, kegoin she'ein babra shosar abim gemura, that's bechlal, shal tazayin amo. Ve'im yeshba, we're going to have to read in the gemara. No, it's, it, it's, it's still, there, there is now, guys, for how long do we say this? The mission is not clear. But if the city began, a great example, Kfar Chabad. I don't, I'm not talking about numbers, just a concept. People still call it Kfar Chabad. You know what? 20, 30 years ago, it was a Kfar. Today, Bar Hashem, it's a Yisrael. But we left a name. This has a lot to do with it. 
We'll see in the Gemara, if it's still called a kfar, if it's still called with the name that people associated to a little village, then it's okay. The opposite, says the Mishnah, if it was Shal Rabbim. So we already imposed on it this new rabbinic decree, you can't include everyone in the Shit of Mavai, <laughs> even though now the Nasus Yachid, for example, the population was reduced, so many riots, people ran out of the city, so now there's less people, but people don't know that. Number one. Number two, even if people know that, many times the people return. You get a new mayor, makes new rules, and people come back. So therefore, they're not, they're not exempted from. You still continue with the halacha that ain't ma'aravin askulam, gewaldik, that you can't, you can't make, um, you can't have everyone included. And again, I'm going back and Rashi says, Rashi, in the middle of Rashi, that hoyl v'tchilas shol rabim, the dilma hadra umis abda shol rabim, when a city becomes, when the population decreases, there's normally a reason for that. And when you take away the reason, the people return. And then, I'm reading inside the Rashi, because if, the, if there's a Rashus Rabbim Gemura, forget about an Eid of Chatzay to shoot my voice. You can't carry because it's not enclosed. But why? Here are Rashi's words. Beautiful. That's the whole din of today. Back in the Mishnah. Now, we're not saying we can't make a shituf. We're saying that an ir sharabim cannot have everyone included. How much do you need to exclude a machlekes tanoim? Machlekes tanoim. Elim kein, asa chutzalai ki ir, chadasha shebi Yehuda. You have to set outside of the shituf mavois the, the, the equivalent, not of a size, we're speaking about how many people are going to be excluded, equal the amount of people that live in a city called Chadasha that is in the, in the region of Yehuda. How many people live there? Sheyeish ba chamishin doyoyrin. That there, there are 50 people that live there. And if, as long as they are excluded, then you're good. People will be they can, you cannot carry from this place to that place. And like we mentioned again, number one, they can make their own shituf. Number two, you have to make now a tzuras pesach heker that separates these two locations. These are the words of Rabbi Yehuda regarding the amount of the exclusion. However, Rabbi Shimon, which is more lenient, says, no, you don't need 50 dioiden. Doesn't even go by, it doesn't even go by your residence to begin with. It goes by structures, homes. How much? Three chatseiros. As long as each one has a, at least two houses, so you have a total of, you have a total of six, um, of six houses that if you exclude them from the shitva again, they can make their own shituf. You make a hacker between one and the other, that's enough of an exclusion that we're not afraid that Shetishtak Ach Toiras of Hitzom. Or Toiras Rishu Sarabim. Those were the exact words of Rashi. Okay. Says the Gemara, Hechi Dami, Ir Shal Yachad, and Asa Shal Rabim. Amr Ab Yehuda, Kigoyim, is giving an example the Iskarta, the city of the Reish Golusa. That originally it was a Ir Shal Yachid. And then it grew. Now, Omar laid Rav Nachman to Rabbi Yehuda that my kama, why is it that even though now it shall rabim, you are still allowed to use the rules of an ir shal yachid and you don't have to exclude anyone. And you're giving me that example. Did you give that example, Dafke, because who comes to the Reish Kalusa? The Reish Kalusa was also the person, aside from being the head of the government, he was the one that gave smicha to people, he was the one that gave permission to people to govern here and there, which means that there was always a large amount of people with knowledge that would congregate around him. So is it because he lehmem Since people come to him to get reshus for rulership, and since there are so many people there, even down now it shall rabim, is matkerei ahadadi, people remind each other, guys, we can carry because we made a shituf. But if there wouldn't be a shituf, if there wouldn't have been an eruv, then you can't carry if that's the reason. Then again, then Rabbi Yehuda need not give an example only of the city of the Reish Galusa that used to be smaller and then it became bigger because the Amos is that every Yiddish city, Huli Yisrael Nami, it does, it does, are all the Yidin learned? Not yet. But in every Jewish city, there are times that people gather and that is Shabbos morning to hear the Kriya Satoira, that Betzah from the Shabbos, Shichai Gabe and that also should know it's any city 
and we have to follow the rules. If it was always Shorabim, if it's Shorabim, you can't be Ma'arav altogether. But if it was Shayachad and it becomes of Rabim, always don't worry, enough Yidin will come Shabbos in the morning to remind each other, guys, really, you can't carry. In this city, you can carry because it's enclosed, because we made a sheet of, I, now there are 600,000 people, yeah, but it began as a village, and it's still, it's called an Ir Shal Yachid. So again, why, why did Dafke give an example of the city of the Reish Galusa? So the Gemara clarifies why he gave that example. So El Amar Av Nachman, you can even understand that he's not even arguing, even though Ella is not Mashra that way. He going, this karta did not, did not Zui. There is a village that when it was built, it was built, it was called the Natsui village, which was the name of a Yachet. He was a wealthy person. And the whole village was built around him. As long as the village retains his name, mentioned Kfar Chabad, Kfar Chabad, that will remind everyone that this used to be an Ir Shal Yachet. That is why the Mishnah says that even though now it's Shal Rabim, Lanashi, even though now it's more than 600,000 people, but people ask, ah, it still has a private name, it has a Hamish name. Sorry, Masha Daniel, can you mute yourself? Sorry. Masha Enkein, if you have a village that was Shal Yachid, according to Rav Nachman, and now it's Shal Rabim, and they changed the name of the city, now it's a din of Ir Shal Rabim. And now it's Vaitan included, and this general Takana that we're learning about, that uh, it's enclosed, it's good, but not everyone can join the Shem Shittov. One segment has to be excluded. Machlik is Rabbi Huda and Abshimen. How large does that segment have to be? And again, according to Rabbi Yehuda, Lachayra won't make a difference. It's not about the name of the city, but it's a, it's about it's about the way he understood at least in Rabbi Yehuda. It began as a small city, and the people that congregate are always amongst them. They're learned people. The learned people will remind everyone that if not for all of these steps, you can't carry, and there won't be a teshtakach toiras and shusarab. Okay, guys, we're starting a brayso, and then we're gonna have to break the brayso apart. The brayso has more details that we didn't learn about in the Mishnah. The same din of the Mishnah. And now it became Shol Rabin. It had less than 600,000 people. Or, see, many cities, you can make it clear, you don't have 600,000 people that live there, but there are markets. And every Monday and Thursday, that's also called an Ir Shol Rabin. Yachid means that it doesn't serve 600,000 people. Now, the Nasa Shol Rabin. Now says the Bryce another detail. Now this Rishus Rabbim means it's 16 amas wide and it's going through, meaning it's opened at both ends of the city. Like we mentioned, this is already not related to our mission. This is not related to the Takana our mission. This is a bigger din. This goes back to what we have earlier in the Masechta. If you have a bona fide Rishus Rabbim before the Shito, before the Eid of Chatzedus, you can't enclose it. You can't enclose it and say, now it's no longer at a Shosarab. It doesn't work that way. So, Kate said, Ma'arven Oisa, meaning, not Eid of Chatzedus. How do you take away the status of a Shosarabim? Now, the Bryce is quoting a very lenient opinion that we don't pass him by. If you remember, Rabbi Yehuda was the one that held, we had this many times already, that when you have a Shosarabim and you put a Lechi and a Lechi or a Kreid and a Kreid, even though people go through it, it's considered that a shusara. It's considered already a shusai yachid. So this brayso and this detail is following a shita. Oy se lechem mikan velechem mikan. Oh, you koyd mikan velechem mikan. And now the noise of the noise and the emsa because because aleph that area. If you put in both ends of the city a lechem or a koyd, then the whole thing, according to Rabbi Yehuda, now is enclosed at a shusai yachid. And now that you made a uh, a sheet of Mavois, a of Chatzedes, now you can take a carry all over the place. Now, says the Braisa, the Ein Ma'ar ben Oysen Lachatzoyin, very important din. What is, what is this statement of the Braisa referring to? Says Rashi, that when we're speaking about a small town, that became a big town, like we learned in the Mishnah. You are still allowed to have everyone join in the Shittu. You can do that. But you know what you can do? You can't say half and half. Here, you can, either everyone can do it together, but to say that half here and half there, that's not something that we allow. We'll see in the Gemara. We'll see in the Gemara. Why? Next in, Ella, Oikula, 
You're every Mavi individually. Now, the obvious question is, for whatever reason, if you have to put everyone together in the same, you have to do that. Not only you could do that, but you have to do that. Um, um, we're going to see later, since it began as a, as a Ir Shal Yachid, it began as one, one, one Hamish group. It began like one Chatzit. The rule by one Chatzit is, is that if even only one member in that Chatzit doesn't join, he messes it up for everyone. So in Ir Shal Yachid, even though now it grew, it's still like one Chatzit, which explains why it has to be Kula. But the kasha will be, how can the Braisa write that if it's not Kula, how every Mavi can do it for themselves? Why is that? Like Mimonav Shach, you can say either no one or everyone together. So we'll have to explain this part of the Braisa. Next din in the Braisa, Hoysa Shel Rabim, if it in was a, 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 of a city of Rabim, and Baharei Shel Rabim, Dafnun Tes Omed Beis, the ain law Ella Pesach Echad, but here's the thing. But there isn't a there isn't a road that goes through the city, even if the road is 16 amas wide, even if the road is servicing 600,000 people. Guys, these are dinim that go out, take us back to the earlier part of the Masech. Since it doesn't go through the city. Where do we learn the whole Rishul Sarabim from? From Diglai Midbar. In the Midbar, when we traveled, we went straight. There were no impediments. We never came to a dead end. Here, the one side of the city is open, but when you enter, you come to a dead end. You come to a wall. Since this is so dissimilar to a Rishul Sarabim, so first of all, you can enclose it. Second of all, even though it's servicing 600,000 people, it's not included in the, in the din that we're learning about today. We don't say, oh, if you're going to make a shitu, that will include everyone. If you're not going to exclude an area, no, people know it has nothing to do with Rosh Hashanah. So here again, there is no need to exclude anyone from the Eruv. The Valdek detail that we did not have in the mission. Here we have it in the Brais. So end of Brais. Now let's go shtickle by shtickle, beautiful Gemara, analyzing every piece. First of all, one thing the Brais mentioned is that if you have Taka 16 Amma wide road and it goes through the city, so forget about the Shituf Muvois issue, forget about the Eid of Chatseros issue, you can't even enclose it. Lechi, Lechi, Koira, Koira. So the Gemara says, Man, Tana, the Mabra, Shusarabim. Really, no one holds the Kimim out of Rosh Hashanah. Let me make that clear. The word is that you can make it into a Rosh Hashanah by doing something so simple. So, Amar Afun Abedei the Rabbi Yeshua, this Braisa has this following the Oshit of Rabbi Yehuda, the Tanya, that Yosef Al-Kain Amar Rabbi Yehuda. Not only if you have an area that is, go, that, that is going under an overpass, because of Pi Tikra, Yoyed Vesoysam, it's considered enclosed. More than that, Says Rabbi Yehuda, even if you are in Eretz Yisrael, that is not under an overpass. There is no tikra. Nevertheless, me sheish lebeis batim. Bishnei in Eretz Yisrael, as people have the picture up on the screen, and the street is a sixteen amma wide street, and you have six hundred thousand people being serviced by it. You still can make a lechem ikan the lechem ikan. Oh, you create a mikan, you create a mikan. That renders the area in between the houses as a biblical Roshos HaYachid, and therefore, V'noisa V'noisa Me'emsa. And that's only that Rabbi Yehuda, because on the light, the Chachalim told Rabbi Yehuda, Eim Ha'ad Roshos Rav Mekach. Guys, the word Eruv doesn't mean Eruv Chatseris. We're not speaking about Takon HaShleim HaMelech. Eim Ha'ad means it's not considered closed off. Uh, in other words, you have to have mamish partitions, if you remember. You have to have doors on the sides of the city. Then the question is, do the doors have to actually be closed at night or only potentially closed at night? And as we learned earlier in the Masech. Next line of the Brais. Omar Mar, the Eim Ha'ar V'noisim L'Chatsoy. So again, guys, we're speaking about a small city that became large. So you, you still can be Ma'ar of everyone, as we learned in the Mishnah. But here says Dr. Braisa, oh, you want to do that? Everyone? Or, 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 or not in half? So Omar Rav Papa says Rav Papa, yeah, guys, pictures will definitely help. Why Omar that you cannot do Lachat Soyin if you are putting the aid of La'arka? La'arka was the opposite picture of what we showed before on the screen. La'arka means that you would put the aid of aligned, very good. You see the dotted line under the Shusar Abim street. So the people that live on one side and people that live on the other side, you cannot 
you cannot have them separate, included in separate sheet of Muva'ais. And why is that? Because since both people that live on both sides use this street, this is Main Street. So the thoroughfare, the Main Street, is merging them. So what do you mean? They're, se- they're not separated. They behave all together. But if they're going to place the eight of guys, we're not speaking about a physical partition. We're just speaking about those dotted lines is who joined in the Shituf. But if you're going to do it to the width, now guys, you have a city that's open on both ends. Theoretically, each group can use a different entry and exit to get in and out of the city. Theoretically, they don't need to use the area of the other. So therefore, in such a case, if they chose for whatever reason to have two separate sheets of Muvais, we're using the generic word, so be it, we're good. Each sign can do it on their own. Says the Gemara, ooh, Azoi, come on. You, if you, if this is, there's another version of what our Papa said, but L'chorah, that statement cannot be like Rabbi Kiva, as we mentioned in our intro, that Rabbi Kiva and Ayin Hey, that's the Mishnah. You have two Chatzeris. One lifnim the other. The people that live in the inner Chatzer can only get there by walking through the outer Chatzer. These two Chatzeris, each Chatzer made their own native Chatzeris. They could have joined together, but they didn't. The problem is the people that live in the inner Chatzar, their only way, they go through the outer Chatzar. Rabbi Kiva holds, since they have the permission to go through the outer Chatzar and they didn't join them, it's as if people that live in the outer Chatzar, if only one bias in one Chatzar didn't jo- join the Eidov, he messed it up for everyone. So the people of the outer Chatzar cannot carry. The Chachamim say no, they don't live there just because they can walk through there, they don't ruin it. Now, guys, what was the picture that we had before? We're saying that Rapapa is saying that they can make lachatsoin if it's lorachba, but but they have permission to walk on the other person's uh, thoroughfare. Not this picture, the prior picture. That picture is zikhan, oh, it's the one with the on, on lorachba. But still, one can use the area of the other. According to Rabbi Kiva, that should mess up the sheet of one of the other. So lochayda do like Rabbi Kiva. Because the e Rabbi Kiva ha'oma. Now this is the statement we'll have on daf ayin the inner chutzr, outer chutzr, inner chutzr, that the regal hamuteres bimekayma, that feet, um, literally, that is muted in its own place, they aser afilu shaloi bimekayma, which means the people that live in the inner one, they aser the outer chutzr because they didn't all join together. And l'choyra, here, even though that they made themselves their own separate eruvi uh, chutzeros, but w- people that live in the right can walk through the left, people that live in the left can walk through the right, and l'choyra, that should mess up so that should only go according to the Tanakhama. Says the Gemara, no, that this version of Rav Papa can go even according to Rabbi Kiv. I feel the same Rabbi Kiv. At kan loy kam Rabbi Kiv hasam el lo b'shtei chaserois zim lefnu mizu. Since the pnimi yois leis lo kis chachrina gaval. The inner and outer chutzer in daf ayin hay is the case where the only way the people that live in the inner chutzer can get out of the rishus arabim, they must walk through the outer chutzer. Ah. And you didn't join, you didn't join with them and they're Adolf, sorry. So, so uh, you live there because you have to walk through it. Here, you are able, the city has two entrances on each side. Each group can use their own entry and exit. They're not obligated to use the other area. So even according to Rabbi Kiva, they don't mess it up. since and so therefore, each half may join in its own Eidolf. So is the explanation of Rav Papa Lekula Alma, another version of what Rav Papa said. You can't have people of one side of the street and the other have separate Eidolven, separate Shishit of Mubois. Don't say what we said before. He said, and you know why? Because everyone is using the street in the middle. Everyone has access to the other side of the city. So therefore, you're using, it's one big challenge, it's like one big chatzit. You got to do it all together. Now, come on, this statement should only be like Rabbi Kiva, because according to the Chachamim, according to the Tanakam of Rabbi Kiva, that they say that the members of the inner chatzit don't aser the outer chatzit. So the Rav Papa's statement will not be able to go with them. 
Says the Gemara, no, according to this version, Afilu Tema, the proper statement will go according to the Rabbanon and Adaf Ayin Hei. And the reason of the difference is, At Khan, Loik, Amr, Rabbanon, Hassan, El Adafka, in the case there of the Sheikh Hatsayd, Zim, Lufnum, Since, listen to this, there's a concept called Khaifan al Midas Sudayim. Guys, the, the people in the inner Chatzar, normally, they, they don't only have the right to walk through the outer Chatzar, they have the right to use that area. That's the agreement. But the Chachamim hold, the Tanakhama holds, that, that the outer Chatzar members tell the inner Chatzar members, listen guys, you have it good, you can carry from your house to your Chatzar. You're going to ruin it for us because you didn't join our Eruv, for this Shabbos that you didn't join together, we're going to restrict, we're going to restrict your usage in our Chatzar. According to many of the Shainim, they can still walk through because how will they get to the street? How will they go to shul? But they're going to have to like go through without using it. Since they have the right to tell them that the Primius, Achado, Lidosho, Umishtamsho, they can be forced, they can be forced. The outer Chatzar tell the inner Chatzar, can't use it. Can't use our Chatzar so, so therefore, they're not considered members of the inner Chatzar. This is a statement, and again, why? Because if the people of the inner Chatzar will make more use of the outer Chatzar, they're going to ruin it. Like Rabbi Kiva Taka says, they ruined the outer Chatzar members now cannot carry from the house into the Chatzar. But when it comes to a city, it doesn't work that way. If you live, if there's a main road going through the city, you can't tell half of the city, you can't use the main road of the other half. That's Gainer Shazoy. It's a public area. So since everyone is allowed to walk everywhere, so therefore, just because you decided to make two separate Eruv and Chatzeros, it's mamish like having one house in an Eruv, in a Chatzer that didn't join. You're part of the one town. It's like one big Chatzer, which is what we learned in the Mishnah. And everyone has to join together. It's different. It makes a lot of sense. Okay. Now, the question will be on the next statement in the Bryce. So now that we said that when you have the smaller city, even though now it became a Ir Shalarabim, it's still considered a private, uh, it's still considered a Hamish village, and everyone can join in a Shituf. And the Bryce says you can't make half and half. We explain what that means. Let's go with the latter version. You can never make half and half. Well, then what will be the alternative? Either everyone joins together, or no one can carry anywhere. But the Brayse didn't say that. The Brayse said, "Omar mar oy kula oy mobi mobi b'fneiatzma." Now the question is, why mobi mobi b'fneiatzma? Why don't we say the same logic? Every mobi goes into the main street. Everyone uses the main street. The mobi is open to the main street, so that makes everyone join together. It should be like again, it's if it's we're going to view it like one large chutzner. How can everyone do it separately? I'm living with you. You didn't. We didn't join together. None of us should be able to allow to carry. And the reason was, like we explained, because the because we, we, we view everyone in such a city as members of one chatzir, so mavi mavi nami should not be allowed to make each one separately. It should be asli ahadadi. Okay. So I answer the Gemara. Now, guys, here, my picture will be Gavaldic will be Gavaldic. The other pictures that I saw don't explain it that well. I hope you guys can see this picture. Let me first show it here to the Chabad.org. I'm pointing to this picture over here. Whoever's using this Sefer, it's picture, it's picture Shin Ayin Ches, Mahal Shein. So it's this one over here. And, and if here for the, for, the, for the live class, I don't know if you can see, by the entrance of the, you can't see, not good. By the entrance of the mobile, let me read the words in the Gemara. That at the entrance of every Mavui, at the entrance of every Mavui, you made a unique type of entrance. It, 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 it's, there's no picture here, whoever's using an art scroll. I didn't see Rabbi Steinzeltz yet, Evan Yisrael, of blessed memory. But you, you, mamish, you made a unique type of boundary, it allows passage. But it, it makes every Mavi distinct. In other words, you have to do something new, much more than the Kaid and the Lachi, to say every Mavi is its own place. And therefore, every Mavi now can make their own sheet of no voice. And the Chi Ha, and this is going to be similar to the following the Amar of Idibar Oven, Amar of Chizda. 
Echod, nibnei mavo, you should also daka, lepischoi. If you talk, I have many chatzedas going into a mavo. And again, we're going to learn more pratim in next pedic and onwards, that just like if one house in a chatzed doesn't join, he messes it up for everyone. If one chatzed in a mavo doesn't join in the sheet of mavois, they mess it up for everyone. I met Vodam Amurim that the Chatzeris open up to the Mavri the way a Chatzer used to open up to a Mavri. But the moment they make this sort of Daka, which, which Mamish separates the Mavri, the Mavri from that Chatzer, I don't care if they didn't join. As long as they made a Daka, then Eino Oisen Albene Mavri. It's when you build a structure that shows that you're separated from, even though you still get to use it. But since you removed yourself from it, your lack of joining doesn't ruin it for all else. Okay, next line in the B'raise. And we said the big uh, Chiddush that we didn't have in the Mishnah. Uh, Shorabim doesn't only mean that the city has 600,000 people more. The city has a street that's 16 amas wide. But it doesn't go through the city. That alone doesn't make it into a Rishul Shorabim. It's a city with one entrance, and the only way out is going through the same entrance. You got to make a Yui, you got to make a K turn on that street or you know, make a circle at the end and go out since it's so dissimilar to a Rishul Sarabim, even though it's a Rishul Sarabim, you don't have to exclude anyone. Says the Gemara of the following that Rabzeda Arba Lamasa the Bey Rabbi Chiyo. Rabzeda was the expert Eruv maker. He went to the city of Rabchia and he made an Eruv. Not only did he make sure, step number one, that it's halachically enclosed, but we're speaking about our din. He made one shitu for everyone. He excluded no one. And, and that city then, when Abzeda made the Eruf, had, was the Eir Shor Abed. And the reason why that is, as we'll see in a moment, is because Abzeda was under the impression that it used to be an Eir Shor Yachid, as we learned above, and therefore you don't have to exclude it even after it becomes Shor Abed. One second, my Tama of Marachi. What do you think? I mean, now it's Shalad Avim. So I'm a lay, and I'll tell you why. Because Save did the I asked the people that lived there for long, I asked the elders in the city, and they told me that the Rabbi Chia Bar Asi Ma'arif Kula, you know, in the past it had, it had one Shituf, and why do you think it was so? So the Amina. So I said to myself, that Shema Mino, how, how did he do it? That Ir Shal Yachid and Asa Abimi. And therefore, I have the same right to make a shituf without any excluded area. So Amale, so Abai tells him, no, that there's another detail that you have to be aware of. Lididi Amruli, Hamusavi, those elders explained to me that the reason why originally they made one shituf without excluding anyone, not because it was an Ir Shal Yachid. This was not an Ir Shal Yach. This is an Ir Shal Rabin. It happened to be that for a long time, Hahi Ashpa Havilam Echad Gisum. It was a large garbage uh, dump location that, that closed the opening from one side. For many years, this was a city that only had one entrance and exit. And as we learned now in the Braiso, even if it's always an Ir Shal Rabin, you don't have to exclude an area. Problem was that changed. Not Yachid Rabin changed. That Ashva was removed. But the Hashda, the Ipanyo, law Ashva, now that they cleared out that garbage dump, and therefore have a lot of Kishnei Psachim, Kishnei Psachim, now, you know, there was always a road there, but now it's a usable road. Now, now, it, now, now, you, now you can't, <clears throat> now you can't make, a, you know, again, the road over there wasn't 16 amas wide. If not, if not that Abzeda wouldn't have, would have done it, would not have done that, but it wasn't 16 amas wide. He wasn't worried about Ir Shal Rabin because he thought it was Ir Shal Yachid. It was not. So it says, so says Rab Zayda Allah Adatoy. And he retracted that now you cannot have everyone join the Shem Shitov. One group will have to be excluded. Okay. So says the Gemara, uh, asks the Gemara, boy, you mean they Rab Ami Bar Ado Har Pano'o from Rabon. If you have a city that's opened in one site, when you come to the end of the city, imagine living in such a city, there is a wall, but there is ladders leaning against the wall from one side. There are ladders leaning from the wall the other side. So people are able to exit the city by going over the ladder. Does the ladder render that into an opening? 
then it's a city that's open from both sides. And because of that now, it's a city that has to have an excluded area from the Shituf. Or come on, it's not a Pesach. There's a Mechitza. I know, could put the picture. You know walk above it. Sulam Mikan, or Pesach Mikan. One side has a Pesach, but one side has a Sulam Mahum. Yavaldik. No, 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 no. Take away that picture. Take away that picture of Shleimer, Balt, Ratzi. Oh, Malay. Oh, Zakta Rabba, right to Rabba Ami, but Adam, Harpano, that you are Hochi Omarav. Listen to these words Sulam, Toiras, Pesach, Olof. That's a Chumro. Yeah, if there's one Sulam, so people can exit that other side. That's a city that's open from both sides. But Mela, if it's an Ir Shalad Abim, which was probably the case, fine, you have it enclosed. Very nice. It's not a biblical Ir Shalad Abim, but you, you have to make a Shittuf. You cannot ha have everyone in the same Shittuf. That's the din of the Mishnah. You got to exclude a group of people. So, Amal, who Rav Nachman, Terabo, or he told that to, to Rav Ami Barado, like to see it too late. No, he's quoting Rav. Don't listen to him. Hachi Amarav Ado Amarav. It's a half quote. Sulam, not Toiras Pesach. You get to use whatever you want, Likula. Sulam Toiras Pesach Olav Vi Toiras Mechitza Olav. Actually, in our case, where the Kula will be to say that the Sulam doesn't make it into a Pesach, it still is a Mechitza. We're going to say Mechitza, Toiras Mechitza. Toiras Mechitza means it's dissimilar to Rosh Hashanah. Ube Meila, you can add, include everyone in the Shituf. In another scenario that the Gemara will explain in a moment, here is where we say again, Lekula, that a Sulam will become a Toiras Pesach. Toiras Mechitza Olav will be in our case. Again, Lekula. Toiras Pesach Olav. Besulam Shabbat Shtei Chatzeros. You have two Chatzeros. If, if you're living, don't put the picture of that picture up. We don't need it yet. If everyone lives in the same chatzir, one person doesn't join, you messed it up for everyone else. We'll learn that in the next Vedic. If you have two neighboring chatzirois, as long as there's an opening by four tfachim or four tfachim, like a window within ten tfachim of the ground, then they could join one eight of together, and they could not, whatever they want. What happens if there's no such window, but there is sulamais between one side of a chatzar and another, going over a wall that separates them? That's the case. That shtei chatzar is rotsu echad ma'arev rotsu shnei ma'arvin. Now, how can they all join together? They can all join together because lekula. We're gonna say tradas pesach. If it's a bona fide mechitz of I neighbor your chatzah, but there's a wall with no window and no door and no opening, no nothing, we can't join together. And I'm going to jump over the wall and carry to your chatzah. I'm not allowed to do that. So lekula, I can say, ah, the sulam has a trade of a pesach. But it's only lekula. And in our case, the kula will say that the wall is still a wall. And it's not a city that has an opening from both sides. Beautiful. So Rav Nachman challenged Rabbo. But now we're going to challenge Rav Nachman. No, now come to a picture. Mirpeses basically means it's a two-story home, but this, it's not a uh, it's not a duplex. It's a quadruplex. Ah, speaker, whatever that's called. You have many people living downstairs. You have many people living upstairs. They all share the chutzpah. More than that, the people that live upstairs. The only way to get to the Rosh Hashanah is that they had ladders then, is they would go down the ladder and they would have to go through the downstairs chatzah. So, oh, they're perfect. So really, really, for everyone in the home to be allowed to use the chatzah, everyone should join the eight of chatzahs. But that's not what happened. What happened was is that the people that lived downstairs, many different houses lived downstairs, they were ma'adav amongst themselves. Many people that lived up the stairs made an eight of to go out on the mid-peset on this front porch. Problem is, what do you do now by the fact that they didn't know join together? So, Anche Chatzin, Ve Anche Mirpeses. The guys were turning to the Afshashachachu, they forgot, and the Loi Irvu all together. Now, each group made an Eidu for themselves, but they didn't all join together. So, are we going to say that the people upstairs didn't join the people downstairs? So, they messes it up for everyone. 
So here, again, we're coming back to the DACA. Again, you need to have a proper picture. There's no DACA picture here at all. Im yesh lifneim DACA arba'o. Just guys, remember, arba'o is tfachim. Arba'a amas. If they built a, a, this type of this structure, entrance, which is, which is, which is, which is, if you have a picture, I showed the picture before people couldn't see it properly. I've money to think of pictures of a DACA over here. I mean, this is great. It's hard to see, it's too little. Anyways, if you have a daco which clearly says that the merpesis is separated from the chatzir, then ain't no yisadis. It's very similar to what we had before in the Rabbi Kiva. I, they walk through it, say that, they walk through it, but they're separated, and if they don't ruin it. But the imlav, if they didn't build the daco, then the uh, imlav yisadis. Now one second, forget about a daco. How do they come down from the merpesis to downstairs? They use a ladder. If Rav Nachman was of the opinion that we always view a ladder, Lakula, you know what the Kula here will be? To say that the ladder is not a passageway, the ladder is not a passageway, and if the ladder is not a passageway, then why don't we say Lakula, they don't have proper access to the Chatzar downstairs. So why should they answer it? Is that idea that Rav Nachman knows that a ladder is always going to be like a Pesach? Which is why if you didn't make the daka, you got yourself some problem. Says the Gemara, no, no, no. Rav Nachman holds that a ladder is only connecting two different locations. Look cool. Forget about the ladder here. The Merpesis' height was not 10 Tfachim above the height of the Chatzir. Which means, forget about the ladder. It's considered one, it's considered one Chatzir. Pacha b'mayaskinan b'deloi g'voi ha-Merpesis asara. So therefore, if not for the Daka, of course, they're, they're in one chatzer. They didn't all join together. They ruined it for each other. I, the E, loy, gvoy, merpeses, asara, ten tfachim. So why does the Daka help? So here, the Gemara said, you have to find, add another nuance. The height of the merpeses was not, was not, show the picture that you have. It's just, it's not a perfect picture. The, the height of the merpeses was not ten tfachim I. But there was a part of the DACA was is that there is a wall built that, that encircles some of the Mirpesis. That now when you add the height of the Mirpesis plus this DACA walls that surround it, you have like you have like a fence. Now the height is ten tfachim. So now you created the separation of ten tfachim, but it wasn't all the way around the Mirpesis. There is an opening that doesn't have this fence. Now, how big is this opening? Not bigger than 10 amas. It's 10 amas or smaller. Oh, that be amas. It was fenced up until 10 amas. But, no, no, it was fenced up. It was fenced. The fence is higher than 10 tfachim. The opening in the fence is not more than 10 amas. And yes, now there is a ladder with a daka. That means that it, 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 what should have been in this picture is that on top of the ladder by the Merpeses, you should have some sort of uh, beam here and beam him and a beam on top. So when you go through it, it's as if you're going through a doorway. It's like you're entering a new environment. You know, here in LA, there are many people that have in front of the houses, they have this beautiful entrance also, like a daco. Even though you can go around it, it doesn't fully close it off, but it's like a new entrance. Even the other daco. Only because of the daka is taluk istalik miyach did they indicate that they want to be separated. And if not for the daka, and if not for the daka, since that part of the mirpesis, not because of the ladder, is less than ten tfachim from the ground, that's why if they didn't join in an eruv, they messed it up. God willing to be continued. Guys, if someone didn't hop it, it's simply because you didn't have a good picture. If you have, if you have a good picture. Like I have a Gavaldic picture. Let me just try this one more time over here. Point out the picture that we're learning about. Guys, this is the last case that we learned. Let me see if you can see it. So look, 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 look what happened over here. Here, the, the height of the Mirpeses, the height of the Mirpeses is less than 10 Fakham off the ground. But you have the fence. So with the fence, the Mirpeses are separated. But there's an opening. The opening is 10 Amos or less. It's a big opening. It's a big opening. So figure out because of the ladder, it's considered one. But if when you go up the ladder, they made this daco, you see that, that you, can you guys see it? 
I think that's a great, it's a great picture. And th that yes, thank you. Uh, Rabbi, but what's the general rule here with this whole, these ladders and these entrances and these porches? I, I, what's going on over here? I'm sorry. I'm just. Okay, I'm sorry. If you have two, if you, if you have many members that live in the same chatzin, if only one of them didn't join the aid of chatzeros, no one can carry from the house into the chatzin. Here you have two environments that are separated with a wall or different heights, but there's a ladder connecting them. That's what we're talking about. If we're going to say that a ladder connects these two areas to make it into one area, then you got a problem. The problem is, is then no one can carry you from their house into the chatzin because they're members of this general chatzin that didn't join together in the same area of chatzeros. So do we say that a ladder connects it, or do we say that we use a ladder do any way we want? Any way we want. And we are saying now that Rav Nachman is saying that a ladder can never bring about a chumr, can never bring about a chumr. The issue with the merpesas was not because of the ladder, it was because the merpesas was near the ground. That's why it's like one chatzah. And with that whole echetimsa. All right. Shkoyah.